US Air Force has been experimenting with drones for a few decades now, and although these unmanned vehicles have been mostly used for reconnaissance roles, the military has recently come up with more powerful and cheaper vehicles that can also be used in combat. The Valkyrie drone is one of them. Designed to be the autonomous wingman of F-22 and F-35 aircraft, this drone can also launch its own set of unmanned devices to further assist in war zones. Coupled with an Altius 600 mini drone launched from its weapons bay, several experts claim that the Valkyrie stealth drone is the first step into a new age of combat and advanced warfare. Low-Cost Attritable Strike Demonstrator Program The first unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, developed by the military were used for reconnaissance roles. They successfully gathered intelligence from the enemy without risking soldiers' lives or igniting diplomatic issues with nations that were being spied on. The drones have changed in weight, dimensions, and usage over time. In combination with remotely piloted aircraft, or RPA vehicles, drones have been tasked with gathering intelligence on a designated target before launching a devastating airstrike. One such example is the General Atomics Predator drone, which launches lethal air-to-surface Hellfire missiles and has been in service since the late 1990s. During its service, it has seen combat all over the world, and especially in the recent American interventions in the Middle East. But the United States Air Force has been looking for a new type of drone that can actively cooperate with manned aircraft during operations. As part of the low-cost Attritable Strike Demonstrator program, the Air Force partnered with numerous tech companies to develop an Attritable drone, a term that, according to Defense News Magazine, quote, the military uses for an asset that can be reused but is cheap enough that a commander would expect and be comfortable with a certain amount of losses while in combat. In partnership with Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, the Air Force settled for the XQ-58A Valkyrie, an experimental stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Valkyrie. This loyal wingman-style drone was designed to assist and escort F-22 and F-35 aircraft during combat missions and can carry weapons, fire them, and deploy surveillance systems. The Valkyrie is controlled by a parent aircraft to successfully scout, gather intelligence, find objectives, and attack enemy air and ground assets. Most importantly, Valkyrie features stealth technology, thanks to its innovative airframe design. It features a trapezoidal fuselage, a trined engine reminiscent of the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, V-tail, and an S-shaped air intake. Valkyrie has a wingspan of 22 feet and a length of approximately 28 feet. It can reach a maximum speed of 652 miles per hour and an estimated range of 2,400 miles. When it comes to equipment, this drone can carry up to eight weapons split into two weapons bays. Valkyrie can attack with precision-guided joint direct attack munitions or small diameter bombs. In addition to its impressive capabilities, the XQ-58A Valkyrie is indeed attritable, as Kratos has estimated that the cost of each drone is valued at $2 million per copy. According to the U.S. Air Force, this is considered cheap compared to losing an F-22 or F-35 in combat. During testing, the Valkyrie lived up to its name when it ruled the skies and achieved the expected statistics. After escorting the U.S. Air Force's top aircraft, the F-22 and F-35 proved that Valkyrie has everything that's needed to become a loyal wingman, and Kratos and Air Force officials turned to the next step of the program, giving the unmanned Valkyrie the capability to launch additional drones from its weapon bay. The drone carried a software package called Gateway One, which allowed the communication between the incompatible machine languages of the two aircraft. Because of this, the Valkyrie is also known in the Air Force as a Tritable One. The Valkyrie also showed outstanding performance when flying in formation with the two American aircraft. This led the U.S. Air Force to consider buying between 20 and 30 Valkyrie drones for additional testing. Steve Findlay, the president of Kratos' Unmanned Systems Division, said to the press that, quote, I am extremely proud of our development, production, and test teams who continue to deliver successful results in record time on our comprehensive system-level efforts, rare within the aerospace and defense industry. 
The successful tryouts paved the way for a sixth and last test using a new weapon system. Thus came the Altius 600, a small, tube-launched autonomous drone and the precursor of a new era of warfare. Advanced Warfare Drones During Valkyrie's sixth test flight at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona, on March 26, 2021, witnesses were astonished when they saw Valkyrie releasing an LTS-600 from its payload bay. LTS-600 was built by Area 1, a Georgia-based company focused on UAV systems. Area 1 describes it as an autonomous tube-launched UAS, or Air Launched Effects ALE, that is, quote, delivered as all-up rounds and available on demand and operational within minutes. It also supports multi-domain operation systems that can be launched from the air, sea, and ground from systems like the Common Launch Tube, Pneumatically Integrated Launch System, and other launch systems. The device has been successfully launched from AC-130s, UH-60 helicopters, ground vehicles, and watercraft of all sorts. Once launched, Area 1 has specified that LTS-600 has significant endurance and an approximate range of more than 4 hours and 276 miles per hour. The small drone weighs 27 pounds, including a payload of up to 6 pounds stored in its nose. It can be used to counter UAVs, electronic warfare, reconnaissance, and intelligence scenarios. Kratos and Area 1 worked with the Air Force to develop a special carriage that allowed Valkyrie to launch the drone. And the U.S. Air Force is planning to buy over 100 Valkyrie drones for additional upgrades and tests. Military expert Chris Osborne has said that, quote, Launching drones from the cockpit of a manned fifth-generation stealth jet and conducting many drone attacks from Valkyrie drones themselves introduces a new sphere of tactical possibilities. A new age of warfare may come sooner than expected. Valkyrie can provide an extended range to manned aircraft for conducting high-risk operations in areas where soldiers and pilots can easily be threatened. The drone can also be extremely useful for testing enemy air defenses and areas with high-security surveillance systems where humans can be easily detected. Osborne has also reported, the programming Valkyrie to fight on its own is a game-changer in itself, but launching many drone attacks from it and keeping it safe paves the way for the future of warfare, as it can construct a layered kind of mesh network extending targeting reach and combat scope. More importantly, if controlled by military personnel from remote stations, Valkyrie can be used to fire weapons to terminate priority targets or quickly gather intelligence that can be immediately updated in Army servers. And the ability to send real-time video and other data directly into a fighter jet cockpit without the need for a server or station could greatly reduce latency to speed up real-time combat orders. Steve Fendley added that, quote, Successful operation of the internal weapons release system or function, along with further aerodynamic envelope increases, continues to assert the incredible capability and cost per performance value of the low-cost attritable XQ-58A Valkyrie. He ended by stating that, quote, there is still much to come. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to watch more historical content and the latest military technological advances. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the new capabilities of a drone that can launch additional mini-drones.